Hey everyone, this is Michelle Goldstein and you are at Heart Alchemy Yoga on YouTube. Please subscribe to Heart Alchemy Yoga. Please continue to like, share, and comment on the videos. We're super grateful for all of your support. And you can also find us on Instagram and you can find us on Facebook at Heart Alchemy Yoga. So we look forward to connecting with you there as well. Let's get started with our flow today. We're doing a morning flow. So this is uh, great for any time of the day, but especially um, the intention is to start the day out right. So let's come to a child's pose. Yoga is definitely the way that I start my day every day. Right? And yoga is the place where the breath, the body, and the awareness all meet. So begin to connect those things, the breath, the body, and your awareness. And then we'll start to flow with it. So you'll come up to all fours. And on an inhale, pull the heart forward, arch your back to cow pose. And as you exhale, round through your spine to cat. Inhale, arch your back, slide the shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, round through your spine, belly in, chin to the chest. One more time. Inhale, arch your back. Exhale, round through your spine to cat. And inhale to neutral. Exhale, downward dog. You can pedal out your heels. And shake your head from side to side. And start to spread your fingers, maybe rock back and forth in the hips as you begin to wake up your body. And breathing deeply. I'll lift the right leg up, inhale. Exhale, step the right foot through to the front of your mat. Lower the left knee to the ground. Take your hands up onto your right thigh. Press your torso up. And then when you're ready, sweep the arms up. And feel the hips sink, the belly firm, and the heart lift. And greet the day with your breath, your body, and your awareness. Good. And then from here, we'll take the fingertips down to the ground and press the right leg straight. Flex the right foot, curl the toes back, and lengthen whatever you can. Get space. More length than depth here. One more breath. Good, plant the right foot, tuck the back toes, lift the back knee, step back, downward dog. And we'll lift the left leg, inhale. Exhale, step, left foot through to the front of your mat. Lower that right knee to the ground. Walk your hands up onto your left thigh. Press your torso up, and then arms reach up. And sink the hips a little bit, but keep the belly firm to support your spine. And you can keep the back toes tucked or untucked, whatever feels best to you. Breathe. Mm 
We'll release the fingertips down. Press the left leg straight. Flex the left foot strongly. Retract the shoulder heads. And get length. Get space. Good, and then plant that left foot. So you re-bend the left knee, tuck the back toes, press back, downward dog. Beautiful, and let's walk the feet up to the front of your mat. Lengthen your spine, inhale. Fold forward on the exhale. Press down to stand up, inhale, and fold in half on the exhale. Lengthen, inhale. Exhale, step to plank and lower to chaturanga. First vinyasa of practice. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward dog. Good. And we'll lift the right leg on an inhale. Step all the way through. Spin the back heel flat. Let's come up to warrior two. And sink into it a little bit. Soften the shoulders. Feel your right femur bone hug into its hip socket and then lift the front of your pelvis so the pubic bone and frontal hip points lift. Okay, keep that. The left rib cage spirals open. Sink down one more inch. Inhale. Exhale the hands to your mat. Step to plank, lower down. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, down dog. Good, let's lift the left leg, inhale. Exhale, step all the way through, back heel flat, come up warrior two. We'll do some of these fine tune adjustments again. So first you settle in, right? Make sure your feet are aligned, you're breathing. And then left femur bone hugs into its hip socket. Both femur bones do. The back leg is engaged as well, but really mindful that that left hip's not sticking out. Then lift the front of the pelvis, which includes the pubic bone and the frontal hip points. The right rib cage spirals open. Soften the shoulders. Line your mind. And release, hands to the mat, step back, lower. Inhale, upward dog, and exhale, down dog. Good. Let's bring the feet up to the front of your space. Lengthen, inhale. Fold, exhale. Let's bend the knees, come to chair pose. Inhale. Fold forward, exhale. Lengthen, inhale. Exhale, step or jump to chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, down dog. Right foot steps through, back heel flat. Let's come to warrior one. Move in for some Surya B. Inhale. Exhale, release the hands. Step back and lower. Inhale, up. Exhale, back. Left side, step through. Come up, warrior one. Inhale. And exhale, release to plank, lower down. Inhale, up dog. 
Exhale, down dog. And feel the quadriceps engage. And feel those femur bones hug up and back into the hip sockets. That will help you get your heels toward the ground. Just that action. And then sink the heels. All right, bring your feet to the front of your mat. We'll do that again. Lengthen, inhale. Fold, exhale. Chair pose, Ukatasana, inhale. Fold forward on the exhale. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step or jump to Chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, down dog, right side. Step through. Warrior one, inhale. And exhale, release. Chaturanga. Inhale up. Exhale back, left side, step through. Warrior one, inhale. And exhale, release, chaturanga. Inhale up. And exhale back. Engage in the experience, participate. In the experience. Push up out of your shoulders. One more breath. Then bring your feet to the front of your mat. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Chair pose, inhale. Fold forward, exhale. Lengthen, inhale. Exhale to Chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, down dog, right side. Step through. Warrior one, inhale. And exhale, release. When you get to dog, step the left foot through. Come up. Warrior one for a breath. And let it go, chaturanga. Beautiful. Let's step the right foot up to the front of your mat. Come up, warrior one pose. We'll interlace fingers behind the back. Bring your right foot just maybe one inch to the right so that you get a little bit wider stance. And then as you sink into humble warrior, hug <clears throat> the right hip into the midline of your body. Release your neck. And then press down to come up. Warrior one, inhale. And let's open to warrior two on the exhale. And then right leg straightens, lengthen forward, and make your way into triangle pose. Feel your right hip hug to the midline of your body so you're not sticking your butt out behind you. Get space around your neck. Good, and then come up, warrior two. Big breath in. All right, we're gonna step up to tree at the top of the mat. Palms meet in front of the heart. Left foot steps up to the right thigh. <clears throat> Palms together in front of the heart. Retract the shoulder heads. And again, pubic bone and frontal hip points stay lifted. Greet the day. All 
Okay, we're gonna step back to crescent with the left foot. Left foot steps back, arms sweep up, inhale. Let's take a prayer twist to the right. We're going for it, all right? Shoulder heads draw back so you get space across the collarbones. You could even start to maybe turn your gaze up toward the sky. Belly in. Beautiful, release the hands down. Step back, downward dog. Inhale to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, down dog. All right, left side, step through, warrior one. Come on up. We'll interlace fingers behind the back, switch one finger over and heel toe that left foot just an inch to the left. Lift the low belly, lift the heart up, inhale, and fold forward on your exhale. Tuck your chin to release your neck. Maybe even start to feel the inner legs hug together. And come up, warrior one, inhale. Open to warrior two on your exhale. Left leg straight, lengthen forward, triangle pose. Check in with the breath. And come up, warrior two. Bend that left knee. We're going to step up to tree at the top of the mat. Right foot to the left thigh ish, you know, like according to what your body wants or needs right now. And this time with the hands, we'll take Jaya Mudra, which is palms together above the crown of the head. <clears throat> jaya mudra, jaya means like, yes, in Sanskrit. So it's just to greet the day with a yes. Yes, I'm grateful to be here. Yes, good things are happening. We'll step back to crescent. Palms meet at the heart and we'll take that prayer twist to the left. And feel the shoulder heads draw back and mindful awareness. Belly in, navel in is really important in the twist. And then rotate, maybe turn your gaze up, inhale. Exhale the hands down, step back, downward dog. All right, inhale to plank. Exhale, lower all the way down to the ground. Release the toes. Release the arms straight back behind you and lift into Shalabhasana. Turn the heels out, the toes in. Maybe hook the thumbs behind your back and lift the chest up higher. Go ahead, one more breath. And then really make a pillow with your hands, rest your forehead down. Just check out how it is to be here right now. And then we'll come in for a bow, bend the knees, catch the feet. 
Make sure that the knees don't splay open too much. So they'll open a little, but like try to keep your knees no more than hips apart. And then spread the toes, kick the feet into the hands, lift the chest up. And then feel the shoulder blades press into the back of the heart. Lift the heart higher, inhale, and exhale, release. <clears throat> All right. From here, we're going to interlace the fingers. <clears throat> Arms about shoulders width apart, elbows, shoulders width apart. We're going to come up onto the knees and tuck the toes and press back to dolphin, which is a great counter stretch for the back bend. And then maybe you walk your feet in a little bit. Feel those femur bones hug in and back. Like in, I mean into the hip socket. So up and back. And then that will help you sink the heels, but then also sink the heels. Your heels may never touch in this pose. Doesn't matter. Now keep the shoulder blades lifted away from the ears. Beautiful. And then set the knees down, cross the ankles behind you, sit back on your bottom. Let's stretch right leg straight in front of you, left knee out to the side, and we'll fold into Janusharsana. Use a strap or a towel if that's helpful, and try to get your torso lengthened over your right leg. So again, let's remember this is more about length than depth. Right, we want space, especially in the spine. And then press yourself up and we'll switch sides. And fold forward. So whatever you've got to do to get that alignment, alignment of the spine and that left thigh, shoulders down the back, alignment of the mind and the moment. And alignment of your attitude Like, how do you want this day to go? And I know that we don't have control over everything, but we have control, the one thing we have control over is where we direct our thoughts and our actions. Good, roll yourself up. And we'll come down onto our backs. <clears throat> and let's open the knees, soles of the feet together. And one hand to your belly, the other hand to your heart. Feel yourself connected to the ground that you lay on. Feel yourself connected to your intentions. And then feel yourself connected to your heart, how you feel. And 
And then when you're ready, you can stretch the legs straight. Lie down on your back for Shavasana. Bring some awareness back to your breath. Bend your knees, roll onto your side. And press yourself up to sit. Sit yourself up tall, allow your eyes to close. And feel yourself greet the day. Positive attitude simply means that we really do our best to at the very least be grateful for whatever lessons are in front of us. And at most with a little smile in the heart, smile on the lips, smile in the eyes. Allowing life to meet us. Bring your palms together in front of your heart. Namaste. Thank you so much for practicing with me today, everyone. This is Michelle Goldstein. You're at Heart Alchemy Yoga on YouTube. Please remember to subscribe to Heart Alchemy Yoga. Please continue to like, share, and comment on the videos. We're super, super grateful for you guys. Community is everything to us. Um, you can find us on Instagram. You can find us on Facebook and we will see you next week.